Did you successfully deploy your machine learning model in Azure Machine Learning? You mean now you have a real-time endpoint that does the prediction for you? Great job! But now, what are you going to do? If you have thought about how you can now utilize this deployed model in your dashboard that you have developed in Power BI, then I'm glad to say you that you just click on the right video. So make sure you're tuning in and as always, let's go. Hello everyone, this is MG and welcome to the video that is recorded for you to provide you a walkthrough that how you can utilize the models that you have deployed in real-time endpoint in Azure Machine Learning and get them connected to your Power BI dashboard to utilize and see the predictions coming in in the dashboard that you have developed in Power BI. Let's check it out. So for this tutorial, actually, I'm using a synthetic data. That's an healthcare example. Um, again, the data is not real, it is synthetic. And what I'm going to do, I have already trained a machine learning model using this data set and using AutoML or automated machine learning in Azure ML to automatically train a model for me and then tell me what gonna be the best model with all those featureization and machine learning pre-processing steps to actually give, them, give me a model that I can deploy the model to predict what's going to be the wait time for the patient coming into a specific hospital. Um, so again, through the synthetic data, as you can see, I have different features like gender, what is the gender of the patient, what is was the primary payer for that specific example, let's say it was a Plan 9, Plan 10, Medicare, so these are different primary payers or what was the DRG stage title? Um, different examples, let's say newborn or different type of a specific um, age ranges, service line, let's say that was general medicine or just newborns. What was the arrival time that detected uh, the diagnosis actually for a specific patient and the location of those hospitals with say with different IDs. Again, this is a it's not a real example and I have already I had this synthetic data as a CSV file I uploaded in Azure ML and registered as a data set I have already created a profile on this data set and I ran AutoML to predict the wait time actually out of these features and for the patients coming in then I can predict what's going to be the wait time in minutes for that specific patient in a given hospital and with all these features so if you don't know how you can register a data set in Azure ML as I did or if you don't know how to create a profile or if you don't know how to use AutoML which I'm showing here in Azure Machine Learning and then deploy a model after using Azure AutoML make sure you check out the video of AutoML comparison that I did in AutoML Azure ML versus AutoML in Databricks so within that video that I'm going to add it on the top right side of this video here you'll see that I am explaining how to use AutoML to train a model and then deploy that model to have a real-time endpoint that does the prediction for you. So I'm not going to cover that again, but just FYI, you can check that out and I'm assuming that you know how to do it, so I kind of pass that quickly. So I use this data and I use, <coughs> excuse me, AutoML to train the model and then I deployed the model. And as you know, or you might know, when you deploy a model in Azure ML, in endpoint section, you will see the list of all your deployed models. And because I already did one and I called it wait time, you can see that here, it says that it's a healthy deployment state, operation state succeeded. I have deployed this model over container instance and here is the rest endpoint. If I call it, I need to pass the features. Uh, to this endpoint and retrieve back the wait time, which is the prediction that I want. So perfect. Now what? 
I want to leverage this model to do the prediction and, and even potentially show it in a dashboard in Power BI so I can leverage my deploy model in my dashboard that I have to develop in, Azure, in, in Power BI. So here's my Power BI dashboard. I use the, the same actually data that I just showed you in Azure ML, uh, the same thing that I have in Power BI. It is a kind of historical analysis. There is no predictive analytics coming in here. I have just created some nice plots to figure out, for example, what is the average wait time historically, not talking about the model and prediction, what was the, what was the average wait time by a different service line. So I can see which one is more, which one is less, or the average time, wait time based on the location. Again, just a synthetic data. The bigger the circle, that means the average of wait time in that specific hospital location is higher. Or average wait time in specific uh, hospitals, I can see, or even the, the correlation and, and relation of these different features, like how average of wait time is distributed towards genders, and then the admitting provider type, DRG, and then primary payer. So now that's a good time that I can transform or enrich this descriptive dashboard to a sort of predictive dashboard. So that would be great also if I can add, for example, the predicted average of wait time for these locations or for these service lines, so on and so forth. So for that case, I need to get connected to Azure ML model that I have deployed and I just show you how I did it, how it looks like when you go to the endpoint, which is actually here. So now how can I connect my Power BI to grab this endpoint and do the prediction and show them in dashboard, this is how we can do it. So if you click on transform data, there you go. You'll see my historical data that I use to train the model is here. And here I have the historical wait time. Let's say for this example, I want to do the predictions for the same thing to see how my model is performing to predict the wait time versus the actual wait time that happened before, right? Which for your case, maybe it's a new wait time prediction. You don't want to predict what happened in the past, right? But here you're just testing the integration and, and, and showing the things how it works and how the predictions are coming in compared to the actual wait time. But these are the input features that are going to pass to the model because these are the features that I got to train the model. So you'll see there's an Azure machine learning icon here, or oh, sorry, the link, you just click on it. It might actually ask you to uh, authenticate and sign in because I already did before. It didn't ask me to enter my credentials, so it knows that I have access and it is showing me my endpoints in Azure ML. And there you go, that wait time, which we have it here, that I call as wait time, the endpoint is already there and my Power BI was able to figure out that I have this model endpoint that has been already deployed. And if you check out the test section you'll see all those features that i got to train my model these are the inputs needed to fill in and then to test the model and see what's going to be the prediction of the wait time in minutes right so perfect now i see this is the wait time endpoint that i need to have and it automatically understand what features you need to get into that endpoint to do the prediction so the same thing that i see here is almost the same thing that we see here right the same features so let's double check. It is telling me that for doing prediction of wait time using this model that you have deployed over a container using Azure ML, you need to have the age as input. But where is that age input is coming from? I'm telling that, well, I have already a table here that has the age, so grab it from there. And there you go. You can see I can select different columns of my table and this is coming from the table that i have here so i can say the age column of this table which is here is the age feature that i need to put the input the same thing my model need admitting provider specialty as a feature and it's coming from admitting provider specialty column of this table so these are the selection of the columns and this is the title of the feature net for the model which is coming from here 
So let's quickly double check to make sure everything is okay. Um, some of these columns have been missed here. For example, as an example, just a normalized value of arrive time and can add it here. The same thing for location. I'm using the same example. Um, but of course, for your use case, you can have a feature here, all the tables here, and you can just refer them which one you want to put the input for the model. Let's say we are okay for now to use this and I clicked on OK. Let's see what happens to my Power BI. Okay, continue. Okay, for now, let's ignore the privacy level for now. And save. So now what it does, it is actually doing predictions for each single row of my table to create the predicted wait time and look at that this is the same table right for each row we need to do a prediction of wait time and if i go all the way to the last column that was the historical wait time and this is what the model predicted this is actually a new column that we didn't have it before it just actually got predicted from the given features and we can see at some point it's close to actual value that happened before at some points it's not that much but regardless of the performance of the model we wanted to check how we can use the model deployed in azure ml in our power bi dashboard so and then here you can just simply add that wait time prediction that you just created using azure ml endpoint to this dashboard in the way you want and then you can certainly publish it through your power bi service to give it actually accessible to other to check out your dashboard rather than just having it here in your power bi desktop uh, so that's all about this video and again if you're interested to know more about this specific topic make sure you write down in the comment section that what specific things you need to know more about that specific integration of machine learning with Power BI. There you go. You just finished watching all the video. How was it? If you're interested to know more about this topic, I mean the integration of machine learning with Power BI, make sure you're writing down your specific topics in the comment section. I'll read them all and potentially make the upcoming videos out of it. As always, thanks for watching the videos and until next week, take care.